business is the engine that keeps the world turning. It's the source of products, livelihoods, and opportunities. Hi, I'm Terry Bradshaw. Whether your focus is B2B or B2C, join me as we explore some of today's leading enterprises. People and companies are beginning to care more about the health of the planet and the impacts they are making. Let's take a look at how some are going eco-friendly. When processing natural gas, water vapors are removed by dehydrating, either through absorption or adsorption. Triethylene glycol, or TEG, is often utilized in this step using a TEG unit, which hydrates by absorption. As a complex system of moving parts and open flames, TEG units pose several safety hazards. In addition to ground and air pollutants, the units emit billions of cubic feet of toxins a year. These toxins include the HAPs, VOCs, and carcinogens like BTEX. Triethylene glycol itself is used in antifreeze and kills anything it's spilt on. In addition to heavy hydrocarbons and BTEX, TEG dehydrators also emit methane. Because there are so many units in service and they operate 24 hours a day, they emit the equivalent of nearly a million cars worth of emissions. The most hazardous problems include natural gas near an open flame and heating a glycol at 360 degrees or more. All these rely on instrumentation to maintain and control the glycol temperature. This eliminates unit meltdown or explosion. After experiencing a fire blowback on his own well, Preston Croft developed a passive dehydration unit as a safer alternative to TEG. Unlike TEG units, passive dehydration uses adsorption with no moving parts or open flames and few emissions. In the early 80s, a TEG unit exploded on one of my personal wells. This created a desire to develop a safer method of dehydration. In comparison to a TEG unit, we have developed a safer, more economical and environmentally superior system that has been in use for over 20 years. We call it the passive dehydration system. Croft eventually sold his wells and established a company dedicated to passive dehydration systems and other equipment. In an effort to increase quality control and compliance, Croft has conducted all manufacturing, engineering, and servicing in-house since 2007. Croft is a natural gas processing equipment company. Selling and leasing, we primarily focus on our passive dehydration system, but by customer request over the years we developed five other major products to allow them H2S and CO2 rejection, BTU stabilization, and water content removal. Croft's passive dehydration system, or PDS, is self-enclosed, which not only helps with installation, but ensures BTEX does not emit into the atmosphere. PDS utilizes an alkali earth metal that is safe for human contact. All waste is condensed into a non-hazardous brine solution that can be safely disposed of, requiring no hazmat. The EPA stated that solid desiccant dehydrators, like Cross Passive Dehydration System, reduces 99% methane emissions over the standard glycol system. This allows our customers to install our equipment while still complying with all state and federal environmental regulations. The environmental aspect alone is enough to convert to a passive dehydration system. While TEG units face increasing regulation, PDS does not require a permit. Because the system is safer and simpler, little maintenance is needed. By eliminating burning and saving natural gas emissions, companies can become more profitable. Croft created equipment solutions that maximize my economic return. Once I approved their recommendations, they manufactured the equipment to the specs we agreed on. All Croft systems are designed to be modular, with easy inlet and outlet hookups, all on one skid packages. The countless hazards and environmental issues that come with operating a glycol unit makes a conversion to a PDS simple. Croft continuously improves its products with customer interaction, in-house engineering and manufacturing, with service viability in order to make a great product and fulfill the turnkey equipment demand.